Hey everyone and welcome to a very special Planet Zoo video. Welcome to Realistic Habitats and this is a guest build. Unfortunately I wasn't able to catch uh, the builder of today's build uh, so that we can record together. It's a bit of my side because uh, I have a little bit of a struggle at the moment with my timings and my recording times and stuff. But as you can see from the title of the video this is going to be a showcase of a build that Mr. Leiter did for me. Now I did approach him a couple of weeks ago, actually before my holidays, and um, I asked him if he was interested to build something in this park. More about this later, because I think you guys want to see something. So let's go right ahead and look at a lot of bamboo. Now, um, so Mr. Lida did build a little area for me, and there were a couple of things we discussed, and I told him I'm totally open. I just need something that, you know, connects the dots of this uh, very weird place that I have going on here with my realistic habitats. As you know, this park, we've got the lion's habitat here, we've got the red panda somewhere, and we've got also like a little small clawed otter habitat, but they're like all scattered across the map, and there's no real concept behind that. And I asked him to just connect an area or two um, to basically give me a little bit of a head start and also to give me a challenge to build from here. Now, what he did not only completely blew me away and I don't know, completely topped all my expectations, it just like shattered my moral in terms of, you know, a detailed building. Now, let me just show you something at the very beginning. Look at these signs. Don't they look great? Don't they look amazing? Like siamangs, red crowned cranes, and red pandas. And you might wonder where he got these little icons from. Well, in fact, he built them himself. These are like a bajillion little items merged together to make them look like a lion. It's just like, if you look at that whole thing, it is just freaking insanity. You can see even the arrow is not like proper uh, arrow. It's also like a, I don't know what, <laughs> it's just, I can't, I just can't, I mean, I mean, just, just look at all these pieces merge together and if you just move away, yeah, it, it just looks totally cool. And um, yeah, he even worked with shadows in case you were wondering what that is. It's uh, not a graphical glitch. No, it's, it's, it's shadows. It's, um, it's it's making me feel the the inner pain of doing that, but on the other hand, it, it just kind of uh, destroys me because um, that is just ridiculous. Anyways, that is just a sign, right? But that just kind of should set the mood for what you're going to expect. Now also, look at that wonderful planter over here and this insane thin outline, which I do love. It's so modern, it's so sleek, it's so zooey. I don't know, I just love that. Um, and yeah, we, we can just go in here. And uh, just for a little reminder, he also left me with a couple of things for me to build upon, because that was also part of our discussion that I wanted to have like a little bit of a challenge, you know? And so he left a lot of things on the ground and you know, and, you know things are not really like finished. And this, for example, over here is an area that I'm going to be filling in the future, but I'm going to show you this uh, in a more bird's view perspective later on. Let's just go in here, shall we? Now, first of all, I do love the fact how he's using the bamboo to, to his advantage in terms of really um, using the size of the bamboo that it actually has in the game. And also look at that wonderful um, kind of framing so that it, you know, that the bamboo at least somewhat is contained so that you have like a little bit of a pathway in between. And um, yeah, there's like a wonderful little gate uh, giving you a little bit of an emotion and feel to go into a more Asian area over here. I really love that. It's like a very Sumatran inspired, you know, if, if you watch Koali, you can definitely tell certain elements um, that are going to be reused in here. In terms of reuse, I mean that he's also pretty much using that, you know, uh, uh, kind of architectural style for him, but the, the level of detail is just out of this world. Now, if we look at this space over here, this is going to be the Siamang area, and I'm trying to not spoil too much from what you're going to see. Um, and you can see also there's like a crane uh, swimming down here in the back, but um, this is going to be the Siamang area, so you left me with that area, and I think this is going to be very neat. Um, I do have to change the pathway a little bit, I guess, because as you know, the Siamangs will need 
quite a bit of space, but um, I have certain ideas how to use that. So let's see how that turns out in the future. Also love these little details here with like the little, you know, pillar, uh, not on pillars, but locks on the ground and, you know, uh, really nice. And then once you come out of here, you can see there is a, like a little bit of a plaza um, you can explore or you can take the route here to the left hand side, which is actually what we're going to do. And we're going to be greeted by one of the most insane areas I've seen anyone do in Planet Zoo. I'm I'm not even exaggerating over here. This is ridiculous. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple of details here uh, because they are just phenomenal. But before we do that, um, I got to change the lighting a little bit uh, because now we have to enjoy that in, in one of the coolest lighting conditions ever. So I'm going to go to 9-ish in the morning uh, because that sets the mood. Um, so he basically put this um, restaurant in, which you're going to have a look at in a second. Uh, but more importantly, he also set the tone for the Siamang area. I really love these little benches over here um, where you can have a look. And also it just kind of is like a little bit of a bay, you know, a bay kind of integrated into that area. Before we actually go into the um, restaurant, I'm going to show it to you from the other side as well. But look at, I just... Uh... Also, sometimes, and I think this is potentially one of my biggest weaknesses in the game, or like, in general, my biggest weakness in terms of building, um, is sometimes being bold enough to use the size of, of the nature and of the plants we have. Um, I think if it was about me, I would have never gone in and, and used the bamboo in, in that kind of level of thickness and uh, so dense and just like really, really cool. Um, and it just kind of creates this nice little bamboo forest uh, that you can go through and just like really um, has a natural transition into that area. I really love how that's done. And, you know, I personally would have done, not never done that. I also love that like little modern combined with the wood over here. Really, really nice design. Also like really cool how we have these little pathways over here, like these little docks almost peerish vibe and then yeah there is the restaurant and you know zooming in a little this is giving you already an idea the level of detail that you're going to you know experience in a bit um this by the way is um the area where the cranes are living in i really do love that and he also did a couple of little uh rock things over here i'm i'm gonna show it to you on this side that's like a little rock blueprint i really love it i love the usage uh, so so much also um with the dried weed in the water which works surprisingly well with the water color he chose so my goodness, it just really looks good. Um, yeah, we've got a couple of little uh, stools over here, like beach chairs, and just like how it's sunk into this area is just ridiculously nice looking. Like a little backstage access, obviously. All these little saplings, um, you know, really nicely also framed uh, by these kind of tree frames over here, or like grow supports. I don't know how you exactly, you, you know, uh, you say that. And now just look at the groundwork. This is another thing I wanted to hint you guys at or point your attention to um like the the feel of this plaza is just unreal um all the all the forms and just like the way it just all works together and how spacious it feels but still how much the nature is integrated and it, oh, it's just like he actually told me that he's uh, he was afraid that um <laughs> you know <laughs> that i I've, you know find this enough for what he's done because the area is not so big but if you look at the detail that is way more than enough and i can really see how much work like not even that you know you look at these things and you're like yeah well that you know these are four like benches and four kind of concrete things on a little support but if you look closely even these things have so much detail to them like let me just you know talk about this section in the center here this section alone is already ridiculous. It's not like that it is just like a, a full concrete slab. No, it, it, it has like these details, like how this is kind of um, merged into it. Like you've got these two little lines over here creating almost like the feel of an invisible support beam. I think this is also what you do with these kind of little design tricks. But that's not all. You also have this like very shallow edge over here, almost like as if it's cut away. And if that's not enough, he even had like an even more thin one down here um, to kind of counterweight this uh, edge that is cut away on top here. So that's like a little design trick to um, to, to give it like a little bit of a T shape, you know, uh, like it's a very thick T. Uh, but this is like how you would do that in real life as well. Um, giving this whole thing a, a very neat little uh, three-dimensional look without actually being 
totally three-dimensional with, with that but um, just really making that modern uh, Bauhaus kind of style merge into with a very modern sleek concrete design um, and if you zoom out you just barely see that but it just does so much to these things um, and to the overall design and the further you stand away you can see the shadows you don't even see what's going on on the left but it's it is just so awesome I really can't I really can't it's so good guys and yeah I mean the, the restaurant front speaks for itself but it's not what we are going to talk about also I love the way how um, the very just kind of clean big concrete plates almost I want to say um, just like naturally merge into this more modern kind of uh, tile look really I am a big fan of that also the usage of these um, kind of brighter tiles here to the left hand side and right hand side and um, simply because that's not enough he also did this um, so yeah it's it's not like a pre-made piece or, or so uh, you know, sometimes you just kind of miss these details because you're thinking like, oh yeah, we, we do have like a brick piece like that. No, we don't. We just don't, okay? So he, he just completely did that himself. We don't have a planter like that, which looks super cool. It's kind of like, a, almost like a retro 70s um, design now. You see these all all around in, in deco kind of, uh, you know, shops. My, my wife loved them, by the way. I have to go in, you know, whenever there's like a deco um, kind of shop or like a center around um, in the span of 80 kilometers, I guess, <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to go there. So they have them a lot and, you know, they're like in black or like gold and silver. These are the ones. Um, so yeah, very nice detail, very modern, but then again, it also feels still very Asian because of the usage and so on. Um, the restaurant is called Goku. Um, which I think, if I remember correctly, is called Crane uh, in, in Japanese or Asian. Um, that's my mistake. I gotta have to read that and, uh, you know, uh, put that in the comment if I don't forget about that. But this is like, even the name and the design um, has a meaning uh, to it. So that is really uh, important. And, and now just imagine this slides open for us and, and we go in. And then we are greeted with that. And, oh god, I... So... I, I can't, I, I just can't show you every single detail because there's too much. And I think I didn't even discover every detail quite yet. But I'm just going to go with the most crazy one in the front. See, we have those little sushi plates over here and we even have the chopsticks in there. Like, And remember those chopsticks, by the way. Um, but we do have the chopsticks in there, which is like ridiculous. Um, and we even have like a little bit of a card as if this is reserved for someone. Have all these pillows and just this corner looks super inviting. It almost feels like this, that this, this corner is maybe like a little corner for the people to wait in if they don't have a table quite yet. Um, they can have like a seat over here, maybe get like a little bit of, of a drink already and maybe some some small sushi or so um, and then before they are like seated completely you know that could be a thing um, but there's like so much more I love that he kind of used the technique of uh, the cobblestones that I'm not sure if I invented that I, I don't really feel like saying that is important if I have invented that or not but remember that we have made the cobble for the small clawed otter in this habitat um, for the hot small clawed otter with those eggs and I did the exact same and kind of nearly fried my FPS and uh, I love the fact that he used this for like these kind of rocks um, or like almost like cobbles as a deco element in here like a planter um, because that fits very well in this park because that's the park where I kind of you know use that um, not even talking about these lamps that look freaking fantastic and I've got no idea how he did this are they in the game by the way I mean I'm so confused about that because they look they look almost too perfect if they are not in the game I'm gonna start to cry um, maybe they are maybe they're not I could oh, wait no I know what that is I guess I, I guess I know what that is I'm gonna rip them apart to see if I'm right but no I am right I know what that is he used these lamps from the new pack um, used them as like kind of a cable and then he used these neon kind of things from uh, the Europe pack I believe it was yeah that's that's basically what it is oh my god that is so clever that is so freaking clever also using oh this is by the way this is not bamboo this these are not the bamboo pieces in the game because the bamboo pieces in the game are way too big for that so he also used these neon kind of uh, tubes to make that like yeah why not but it just looks freaking amazing um, and just look at oh, Look at that thing over here, looks like a cake, um, I believe it is a cake even, and then this little bar over here, I've got another little sushi plate over here on all these um, bar hockers, you know, I just, uh, I like bar stools, I gotta say, hocker is a German word. Also a couple of different colors uh, in here with the planter, uh, bar stools, um, 
just look at all of that. It's just I can't stop looking. Also, that thing over here, race planter, the use of carrots is amazing, making them as like greenery. But these are carrots. I can see that. I, I, I did saw. I did see that. Um, lovely. Look at all this. It's just like the detail is phenomenal. And then also like with the. Uh, with this one over here looks also fantastic um, and um, yeah just to show you something obviously um, yeah no that's not the wine bottle from the game because obviously the wine bottles that we have in the game um, they are this one weird piece that are six or five wine bottle in one piece so you can't do it that way so yeah of course he made them himself to also recolor them give them different labels even and why not it's ridiculous I can't oh. Look at the, also the ceiling and uh, this is like a simple air vent and it's completely custom made and not only custom made no it's also sunken into the roof actually so it's it's you know it's not even flat um and um also like a little detail I wanted to hint you at as well and <laughs> It's just I can't. It's 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 so phenomenal. Not only that he had these. I I first thought um, this might have been a little mistake, and I, I just seriously I just wanted to spot a mistake, but I, I I couldn't. And then I thought I finally found one because they are not like perfectly aligned. But then I saw that one on the left hand side, and I was like, wait, no no no. He tilted them correctly as if they were really giving you the proper lighting to the areas. And um, yeah, that's what he did. Obviously, it's not a mistake. It's oh god. <laughs> It's so cool. Um, yeah, all these little details over here. And the ground. Obviously, the ground is not in the game as well. See, it's looking so good that you don't even see if it's in the game or not. Like, this ground could easily be in the game, but it's not. It's just so freaking clean. And the usage of the different colors in this palette over here is so good that it could well be an in-game texture. It's that good. Um... And I'm not stopping to praise him here. It, it, I, I can't even continue this park. If I would need to match up this level, I, I'm, I'm going to say that straight away. I'm not going to match up with this level of detail of this building. Because then we will have two buildings at the end of next year. So definitely not. But it's definitely setting a new standard for this one. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use so many pieces from that and, and I'm gonna take so many ideas See and this is something uh, this video is so great for you guys in in many many ways because you get The insane detail that lighter put in here Hopefully you're going to go now to his channel and give him a sub and look what he's going to do because he's doing more of these amazing things um, and the third thing which is I guess th for me personally the most important thing to translate and also um, hopefully be able to, to carry that over to you. Um, even the people who spend a bazillion hours in, in their lives with this game can learn from each other. And you, you won't believe how much I learned ripping apart these things that he built over here. It is so important to just look at things that other people do. It's just don't ever believe you can do everything because you can't. And don't ever believe you you know everything because you don't it is super important that you're always open to what other people do and just keep exploring because that's going to make you a better builder and it's going to give you more ideas for the future and this over here is a again a very very new standard he said also i love the fact that you know it's not only that he obviously copied over some of the the, the, the chairs and stuff but not the you know even the rotation and stuff is slightly different the usage of pillows is different so it's he did put so much emphasis on making this look natural by eliminating even the slightest and smallest uh, repetitive patterns by just adding these little details even like the lamps just adjusting the heights from which they're hanging like these little details you wouldn't notice them if i would show you a building um which has only a repetitive palette but and then, you know, the other one. But if you see them side by side or if you go through them right after each other, you would notice how much more realistic this looks. Ex you know, even using the exact same materials and things. That is as good as it is. Um, so, yeah, very nice things over here as well. We've got, like, uh, different entrances. I think that is just, like, an elevator or something. But there's not anything. No, no, no. I'm just going to go out. Um, could go downstairs, I believe, maybe. Um, so, that is just... Oh, God, look at this. This is just so good. Uh, by the way, I do know that this is not a cake. It does look like a cake, but I think it's these things. Oh, what do they have in there? Oh, I forgot. Is that like bread or something? I think they carry bread in there. Oh, just can't. 
I can't. It is just so good. Look at all the detail. I'm I'm just so freaking excited to show that to you guys because um, I really do believe Lider needs a way bigger audience for his amazing stuff he's doing uh, because it is just too good to not be seen. Um, and so I'm extremely happy to show that to you. Yeah, look at that. Just all over the place here. We've got... Oh. This is... This is so, 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 so good. Look at that. It's just... Oh. Man, I'm... I'm in awe. I'm really in awe. Look at that. There are no chopsticks in here. Wait, where are they? There are also some missing over there. Look at them. Those people uh, seemingly already did take them. Oh, I love these small details. I just really, really love that. Ah... You know, sometimes people just take them or they forget them. It's so good. Just gonna go over here. Oh, love it. Oh, look at that. There's none seated over here quite yet. Oh, it's so I can't stop looking at these things. It's just freaking amazing. Yeah, so that's it. And then from over here, obviously, you can sit here and then have a wonderful view of the crane area so yeah you know i could go over here uh, for the next couple of hours because there's like so much to spot also like the usage of the trees and stuff is freaking phenomenal as i said but there is one thing i gotta show you uh, right away because um this is what we are going to do next um so i'm going to run through the restaurant which is way too good um just got out because it's putting me a shame um so yeah that's the restaurant i'm gonna zoom out real quick uh, wait, I gotta go into the other camera. There you go, stand up mode. Um, so that's the area. And just to give it a bit of a, an idea to you, I think you guys never saw that park actually from above. Um, so this is what it looks like right now. So we've got the red panda over here, which obviously ties in now so much better into that area. Um, we've got the small clawed otter over here. This is, by the way, where I started using that little trick with the eggs. Um, yeah, that's the small clawed otter area, which in fact is still not done because the backstage is not done, but I decided to combine that with something else. Um, we do have this area now pointed out um, to me as like one for the sea amongst, which is going to go here. Um, and then we've got this open spot over here, which uh, Lida and I actually discussed a little bit about, and he suggested to put a tiger there. Um, and I'm very happy about that because the tiger is a very good, a very good choice because it has the transition um, from the Asian area to the big cat area, um, which is not going to be like an area, but the big cat, uh, the big cats should be, um, at the uh, corner of the park or corner of the zoo because that's what you would do with this type of habitat um, but more about that in the future but yeah so this is what he left me with and um, it's looking oh, it's looking absolutely ridiculous look at you know and this is what he meant like if you look at it from above you don't really spot much of a change but once you go down and see that restaurant, you know how much work went into this. So, yeah, I'm going to end this here with this phenomenal view of the restaurant. Look at look at that. Oh, my goodness me. That is just pure insanity. Um, and I really do hope that you guys loved the video. If you did enjoy the video, please, the first thing you have to do is to click the link in the description. Go to Lighter, give him a follow, give him a sub or whatever. And just make sure to check out what he is doing because that is just ridiculous and you know if you've got some energy in your finger left you could also leave a sub in my channel if you haven't already um but you know forget about that just go to lighter straight away <laughs> and we're going to talk about um this thing in the future again uh, my focus is going to be on some other projects first oh, by the way i've got koali this week um so i'm gonna do some koali shenanigans here um so you can also be excited for that one but that's gonna um be the reason for less content next week because i'm going to put full focus on koali uh, to finish that in time to hand that over to even again um so that you guys have a little bit of koali content in the next weeks awesome so thank you so much for watching as always have a wonderful time stay safe and goodbye